What's good, everybody? Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. I cannot believe that we are past the midway point. Courtney just said, hey, get the camera and come outside. Let's make a video. I guarantee you she's got no Scooby-Doo of a clue what this video is going to be about. Because one, I don't know. And two, she never knows. Three, when you make this many videos, you run out of ideas. So you just make stuff up on the fly. Let's go see what nonsense she thinks she's going to put on today's video. All right, she's over here. I guarantee you she's got no clue. Courtney, what? come here. What? Come here. You said to grab the camera, so I grabbed the camera. Let's go. Inquiring minds want to know. What do they want to know? They want to know, what's this video about? You said go grab the camera. Come outside. Let's shoot this video. What's it about? I was hoping you'd tell me. See, I told you so. She's got no Scooby-Doo of a clue. <sighs> you want to talk about goats? No. No. Seriously? We always talk about goats. I mean, we've been talking a lot about gardening. We could talk about goats. I didn't mean like on this channel. I mean, I have to listen to you talk about goats every single day, all day, every minute of the day. It's goats, goats, goats. Do you even know what I talk about? Wood. I mean, I'm pretty certain you hear words coming out of my mouth, but I don't know that you actually know what I'm talking about. I need a new tool. Guess how much wood I have. Not at all. Not at all. No? No. Earlier, I was trying to profess my love for you, and then all you responded with was uh, something about kidding coming up and what we needed to do. Like, I love you too, honey. Love you too. Well, yeah, I was saying thank you for loving me. Here's what I need you to do with that love. You skipped the thank you for loving me part. Thank you for loving me. Mm-hmm. You're special. How about we go up and check on our new meat birds? Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Before I forget, I did want to give you a quick rundown on what's going on in the shop. Because I know some of you, at least a few of you, care about what's going on in here. And if you don't, well then I don't know what to tell you. Because I'm going to do it anyway. So at the moment, the shop is a bit of a mess. Uh, I'm still working on a lot of the projects I talked about before. But down here is the Murphy bed. It takes up about... Uh, I don't know, a quarter of the workshop space. There's the other bay, obviously, I'm not counting that, but it's definitely taken up a lot of space because it's here, over here, it's also over here, there, and it's over there. It's got a lot of pieces, a lot of pieces. This guy here is a mantle uh, made out of some reclaimed white oak uh, barn beams that I rescued from probably going to nowhere. Made a video a while back when we got these barn beams and I've been making random stuff from them ever since, but really I've just been making a lot of mantles and shelves, which is fine with me because it's super easy and simple for me to do, but it looks fantastic. I got some new pieces here. This one here is going to be a table and that should be coming up soon. I'm really excited about it. And I got another one down here. That one's going to be a table, so I'm excited about that as well. So I will try to make a video uh, either showing how I make them or I'll make a video of it being done. You let me know, what do you think? What would you like to see? What would you like to see me make here in the shop, folks? Let me know and uh, I'll see what I can do for you because you're who I'm making videos for. You know, if you don't find it valuable, I won't do it. I'll just make it and I'll feel good about it. But if you wanna see it, let me know. Recently, I actually cleaned out all of my dust collectors because they were all full. I'm really excited about that because I'm going to take all of the wood chips that were in there and the dust, and I'm actually going to put it into the chicken run and lay it all out in there because the chickens will use it as a dust bath, which is fantastic. And the chips, well, they make great bedding, so why not use it? It's all hardwood, uh, some pine, and none of it is pressure treated, so it's perfect. These Freedom Rangers are easily becoming my absolute favorite chicken to raise for meat. Yes, they take longer, but they eat a whole lot less feed. The amount of food that we would put in the trough in the morning for the Cornish Cross is still there the second day I just top it off each day. They're getting all their food from the grass and from the bugs. 
So yeah, it takes longer. But I don't know that we're gonna spend any more money on these birds versus what we did on the Cornish. We probably even spent more on the Cornish at this point in, in weeks of raising. And they're so funny. Like they run around like crazy and they act like real chickens, not like overweight, obese, oompa loompa birds that only know how to sun themselves after they've eaten 4,000 donuts. One of my favorite things about these birds is that they like to follow you places. So the Cornish crosses we would have to like scare back in at night. These guys want to follow me where I'm going. Like I'm their food person, just like egg layers, you know? They follow me, watch where I'm going, and uh, yeah, like that's way better. Uh, they're not following me at all. Uh, I tried to get them, they're just, running away from me. Let me show you how it's done. All right, fine. Look at that. They're all just running in there like champs. Ta-da! Excellent. You're the chicken whisperer, lady. What's Bridget going to do now that you're taking her job? This one's my favorite. I call him Sunday dinner. Is that because he's wearing his Sunday best? Yes. Look at that outfit. Ow, my toes. Ow, my toes. Moles? No, toes, my toes. No, I meant, was it because you have moles on your toes? <laughs> oh, no, I don't have moles on my toes. <laughs> they just apparently think they're worms or something. Yeah, you got wormy feet? Wormy feet. Get her, get her, get her. Are you gonna put them away? Yeah, I might as well while we're here. Yeah, good idea. All right, birds, follow the Pied Piper. I can't explain to you how awesome it is to have birds that just go in at the end of the night when you carry that thing in there. The Cornish cross just would not, would not cooperate when it came to that. You've got like four that aren't working with you here. Yeah, they're gone. They're just thirsty. Ah. Come on, chicken boos. Come on. Come on, little buddy. You know where to go. One of the other nice things about these guys is that uh, as they're growing out their feathers, they don't look so terrible. Like the Cornish Cross, you know, they start growing out their white feathers and they pretty much have their regular skin showing all the way to the time of butcher. I mean, they get real feathery by the time you butcher them at the eight week mark. But up to that point, they're still looking like they're a little barren in terms of feathers. But these guys, they already look like normal birds. They're growing at a normal rate, or a decent rate, I guess you could say. These guys are supposed to be ready in 11 weeks, at least that's what uh, the website said uh, for the farm we bought them from, which by the way, is a local farm to us. It's, it's in Lancaster County, which is kind of nice that we're getting our uh, birds locally. That said, I don't really think they're gonna be done in 11 weeks. Uh, what we'll do is we'll weigh them, get their feather weight, and uh, see where they're at. We have feather weights of what our Cornish crosses were at, so we have an idea of what a finished bird would be, even if they were these kinds of birds, although these are the first time we're gonna do these. If I had to say it now before we've eaten the meat, I would say that we are gonna do these birds again. I'll let you know after we eat the meat, but I don't think I'm gonna really dislike the meat, but we'll see. What do you think, Courtney? Would you do these birds again, even though we haven't tasted the meat? Heck yeah. It is nicer too because we use the, the fencing to have a bird that actually enjoys, you know, using a pasture versus just laying in the grass. Oh, you got you got two popping out over here. Oh, you, you, didn't you got one more. Trap. You got one more. Yeah, you didn't you didn't set enough trap. It's you here talking. You it is. All go in. Just 
I'm throwing them off. You are. You're throwing them off. Chase that one around. You're looking like a failure. <laughs> Chase that one around, please. You lied. Expectations. It's Let coming. Go of them. It's coming around. No, he's not. He's standing in the back. Go chase him. I have the camera. I can't climb an electric fence. I'll shock myself, and then I'll ruin the camera. I think you should run around. I'll hold that door. Ah, there you go. Ingenuity at its best right there. Yeah. All right, there you go. All right, all right, let's see. Let's see if it works. Come on. Get her done, Courtney. Get her done. Cha-ching. You did it. You can do it. Woohoo! You can did it. I can did it. All right. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. That's what I strive for in life, for you to be proud of me. Um, that's what I strive for, for you to be proud. Or wait, for me to be proud of you. All right, you ready? You ready to do this? Well, here's my coffee cup from this morning. Of course it is. When I was cleaning out the garden the other day, folks, you don't even want to know what I found in there. It's not a wine glass. No, because all the wine glasses <laughs> are in were the in the garden beds. <laughs> all right, folks, well, Thank you all for tuning in, and uh, we are still going strong with Vlogist, trying our best. We're hanging in there. We've only got 10 more to go. 11. 11 more to go. 11 more daily videos, and we'll uh, keep them coming. So if you've been watching since the first one, thank you very much. And if you're just getting caught up, well, get caught up, folks, because <laughs> we've been having a good time without you. See you all tomorrow. Bye.